Welcome to the Raw Food Health Empowerment Podcast, where we delve into the powerful benefits of a holistic, high raw vegan lifestyle for achieving optimal health, brain function, and overall well being. This podcast is not just about personal health, we're also passionate about community development and creating a culture of health through business and collaboration. Join us as we explore the intersection of raw food, holistic health, and community building to import to empower ourselves and others to live our best lives. I'm your host, Samantha Salmon, Certified Integrative Nutrition Coach and Brain Health Licensed Trainer. And today we're talking about the benefits of eating antioxidant-rich foods while traveling. Uh, Before we dive into that though, I do wanna point you to some resources at rawfoodmealplanner.com which is a checklist, um, one of them a checklist to, on how to diversify your gut microbiome. If you're interested in a healthy gut, a healthy brain, and a healthy quality of life, you definitely wanna download that. I also have a strategy sheet for those who are trying to get good at intermittent fasting. It focuses in on what um, may be playing a role in you not being able to stick to an intermittent fasting routine, so you could download that. And then also, if you're interested in a raw vegan meal plan, you wanna dive into the 30-day raw vegan challenge, which has the raw vegan meal plan broken down with macros and all of that. Uh, Meal plan, shopping list, all of those things. So you can just hop on over to rawfoodmealplanner.com for these. And you can also check out the show notes below uh, where the links will also be provided for your convenience. So. Let's talk about how to boost your health on the go, right? Unleashing the power of antioxidant rich foods while traveling. Why are we talking about this? Because it's summer and most folks are probably traveling. I'm personally traveling. I am traveling through Poland to a variety of different cities um, for the next three months. And I've been here so far at the time of recording this about three weeks. So there's some things that I have learned along the way, and I just wanna share some of those learnings, um, which we've done in the past two episodes. Mostly for this, I also wanna dive into the why behind all of it, right? In the beginning, I was having a lot of fun, eating a lot of foods um, that I wouldn't normally make at home, that I don't, get to even eat out and try at home because in Orlando, Florida, there's like no vegan restaurants. Like <laughs> there's like one place uh, in Central Florida and I it's so far, um, I haven't had the chance to eat there. Um, but yeah, the slim pickings in that area, especially coming from Los Angeles where you have so much Warsaw, Poland is like that. You have so many options. So, of course, I landed in Warsaw and had fun for about two weeks. And um, now it's time to buckle down. Buckle down to real life, to um, eating that is sustainable because eating out all the time is not sustainable. Financially, it is a stretch but also um, just from a digestion perspective and a health perspective, you know, it it doesn't take long for the body to start talking back and be like, yo, what's going on? So um, today we're gonna dive into um, some of these, specifically talking about the benefits. So like the past two episodes I talked about kind of like what to do, what to look out for. Um, Today I'm gonna dive into like, the benefits all right so when you travel and i'm sure a lot of folks can relate to this that traveling sometimes for a lot of people means eating unhealthy food choices right there's a lot going on um, and you're most likely traveling for a reason so there's a lot to think about a lot to plan that has nothing to do with food those unhealthy food choices can leave you feeling sluggish Um, have you feeling like you're gaining weight, maybe feeling nutrient deprived, right? So the solution to this is making sure to get in antioxidant rich snacks, either you're packing it or buying it while you're 
you know, running around, but foods like nuts, seeds, berries, to maintain optimal health while you're on the go. Incorporating antioxidant rich foods into your travel routine, um, it will help you experience increased energy levels, improved cognitive function, which also means improved mood, right? And how we eat actually affects our mood, it affects our, our brain's work, it affects our immune system, all this stuff, but I wanna hone in on the mood part because this has been my experience when, you know, I've been eating out and sometimes I'm eating out, you know, where I, I start the day with a, a cold pressed juice, I have a salad for lunch, a salad for dinner, um, or something like, like some whole foods, maybe some, yeah, like some salads. There's usually, you know, in Poland, they have a variety of different salads. You could have like beets, uh, cabbage, something that's like a coleslaw type of mix type of thing, and um, actual whole foods like potatoes, just steamed or boiled with like rosemary on top, you know, different things like this, actual whole foods. Um, and feel, you'll feel great, right? I felt great eating these types of foods. Then there are other days where it's like, ooh, those nachos look good, the jackfruit burrito looks good, you know, and that stuff's a little heavier, there's more oil, um, and so you don't feel as great, your mood is a little bit off, that's been my experience. So this is a real thing. Play with the food, have fun with the food, right? But eventually when you get back, <laughs> get back to real life on you know eating for comfortability and also to just be a good person in the world and and be nice and kind to folks and just have energy to deal with people and have patience and stuff we got to get back to the healthy eating right so that means getting these antioxidant rich foods in getting those uh trail mixes with the with the nuts in there and maybe some raisins or something like that. Um, and experimenting with different things, maybe getting some um, like cut up vegetables and hummus, dipping it in, things like this, you know, salads, different stuff like this. Travel can be really stressful, right? And stress can impact brain health. It can lead to memory fog and decreased mental clarity. And so the solution for this is to consume brain-boosting foods rich in antioxidants. So what does that mean? We're looking at leafy greens, omega-3 fats, um, colorful vegetables, all of this to support cognitive function while on the road. And this will help with experiencing sharper focus, enhanced memory retention, improves problem-solving abilities, you know, um, because there will be problems to solve while you travel, especially if you're digital nomading, which is like what I'm doing. You know, I've had issues with internet access, which is hard to work <laughs> if you don't have internet, right? Um, have had issues with trying to secure a co-working space, you know, different things like this. Um, the traveling can be a little stressful, things come up. Trying to, you know, maneuver when you're, you're moving in and out of different spaces you know all these things come up and so you need your brain in tip-top shape and these foods help with that so we want to get in the salads with the leafy greens the walnuts the hemp seed smoothies the chia seed smoothies flaxseed treats you know um, research local restaurants or markets maybe health food stores and things at your travel destination that offer these types of foods, either for dining out or for taking back to a place where you have a kitchen to prepare these meals. For me personally, what that looks like in Poland is um, you know, scoping out vegan restaurants on Happy Cow app, on Google, um, and you know, perusing the, the menu for these types of things. Uh, looking for the, the health food stores to find um, some of these items as well. There's a third issue we're going to address now, and that's, um, you know, folks typically when they travel, it disrupts the body's natural rhythm, right, which leads to digestive issues and discomfort. I know some folks who their digestive system tends to get tied up 
when they travel, you know, the bowels get a little shy, you know, um, and the way to overcome this, right, other than making sure you stay hydrated, you eat all these leafy greens, right, but one thing that could be helping um, this type of issue is um, prioritizing antioxidant rich foods that support gut health, like fermented foods like pickles, apple cider vinegar, to maintain a healthy digestive system while you're on the move. In Poland, this is uh, pretty easy, right? Because uh, Poland, they have a lot of dishes with vegetables, things that look like um, sauerkraut, but it's not sauerkraut. Because I personally don't like sauerkraut, but I could do pickles, I could do apple cider vinegar, you know, stuff like this, vinegars. And all the salads I've had had some kind of vinegar element in there. Um, I just got into a place that has a kitchen. Um, so I was able to get some pickles, which I plan to add to my salads. But these types of things could be helpful, you know, while you're doing your travel. Now, um, while traveling, you know, it can disrupt your sleep patterns, right? When I came to Poland from America, I'm going from Eastern time to Central European time. And which is six hours ahead, right? So the whole circadian rhythm, the whole rhythm my body was on had to adjust. And so one of the things that I do to kind of avoid jet lag as much as possible is making sure that my body continues to follow what the sun is doing wherever I am. So if it's dark, I should be sleeping. If it, the sun is out, then I should be awake and up. Right? Even if that means I have to stay up longer um, or maybe go to bed earlier, depending on how it works out. But incorporating antioxidant rich foods um, into your travel helps to promote sleep, sleep quality as well. Bananas, right? Um, herbal teas. So I actually travel with my own teas, but I also travel with um, extracts for when I need, you know, something. There's certain things that we need, you know? Some people, they travel with their medicines. My medicines are certain herbs that I travel with and um, extracts, herbal extracts. And so just in case I have difficulty with sleep, I do carry with me a valerian extract. Um, but another tip also is just to create a calming bedtime routine with a few minutes of relaxing, re relaxation or meditation at the end of the day to kind of help wind down into sleep. I have some meditations saved on my calendar, so it's easy for me to click on the link, listen to the meditation, and get myself in the right um, mind frame or the relaxation to actually get some sleep in. Another reason to include um, antioxidants while traveling is that you know long flights or even road trips can lead to inflammation and discomfort in the body, right? So when we consume anti-inflammatory foods rich in antioxidants such as turmeric, ginger, and green leafy vegetables, it supports our overall well-being and comfort, right? We'll experience reduced joint pain, decreased inflammation, and enhance recovery to allow us to feel refreshed and energized during our journey. We want to make sure we pack travel size containers of turmeric or ginger powder. I've personally um, never packed the powder, but I do bring ginger tea with me on travel. I bring turmeric tea with me. Um, I also travel with a ginger extract if needed. Maybe tea is not convenient, but I could put a ginger extract in water. Um, so, you know, and it's, it's the right travel amount, these little extracts where I don't have any problem with TSA. Also, look for restaurants or cafes that offer fresh green salads or smoothies. Um, like I said, I use Happy Cow or even Google Maps for the restaurants. Now, problem number six. 
is that busy travel schedules often lead to stress and anxiety impacting both mental and physical well-being. So the solution is to incorporate antioxidant-rich foods that promote stress reduction and relaxation. What are these foods? Avocados, green tea, right? And you can buy these. You can buy ripe avocado, add it to salads or sandwiches. You can carry a few bags of green tea um, with you on your trip. I, I emptied out a whole new box of teas that I traveled with me because I wanted to make sure the whole time I'm here for the three and a half months, I do not run out of my teas because those are a godsend. When I'm not feeling well, I have, you know, those teas. But um, a little trick here too. So I, I kind of, I travel with like a whole apothecary, you know. I have cramp bark extract just in case, you know, I get cramps. Um, I travel with activated charcoal just in case I eat something that my stomach doesn't agree with. I have my teas, I have my white willow bark, pills that I actually got in Poland last time I was here um, and had some issues with my neck. I had some severe neck pain where I ended up in urgent care. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, I travel with these things and they're, they're small enough where, you know, I have what I need. So in case of anything, I'm good. And also I'm in a country that really, I love, how they operate like you go into the pharmacy and herbs are an option herbs is something that's offered alongside the other things you know depending on what you need and what works best i remember last year when i was having bad neck pain i know from growing up that my family whenever we had pain we would use tiger balm so i went in with the intention to get tiger balm and the woman behind the counter pharmacist she was wearing a white lab coat she was like you know what instead of tiger balm which is not the cleanest why don't you get um devil's claw cream and devil's claw is a herb so i got this cream to put on my neck and shoulder where i was having the pain and it's like that type of medical treatment i love that type of medical treatment to actually talk with somebody who's not just trying to slang uh, chemicals and all this stuff, right? She educated me that day. Like, you know, I know you used to uh, Tiger Balm, but here's something healthier. And I really appreciated that. Now that's something that I travel with just in case I have pain in my neck, I have that on hand to use. Um, another uh, issue that comes up for folks is our allergies. This one hit me this time. Like, I had not experienced allergies really um, on this level since pre-vegan days growing up in New York City where I had to take Claritin D. It was so bad. Like when springtime hit, I was not a happy camper. I just wanted to pull my eyeballs out and throw them in a glass of water. It was really, really bad. And I came to Poland the earliest I had ever come apparently, because I had never had this experience before. I went directly into Warsaw early June, and I'm telling you, allergies were so bad, it was excruciating, very uncomfortable, sinuses, you know, just really irritated. The only difference between pre-vegan days in New York City and now was that I didn't have like the excess mucus, you know, like the mucus was really bad in New York. And that's most likely because at the time I was eating meat, dairy, eggs, right? Um, but so this time I just had all the irritation um, and annoyance, eyeballs, sinuses, everything, just with less mucus. Um, <clears throat> but since allergies were kicking my butt so bad, tree pollen in particular was the issue. So I had to do some, some research because I thought veganism really <laughs> had saved me and my diet had saved me from this. But now I realize like, it's not enough because because these the tree pollen is coming after me it's attacking me and <laughs> it was really killing me so um i learned some things apparently seasonal allergies affect nearly one in six americans which is a lot um 
and antihistamines can reduce the, 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 the symptoms, right? Which I guess is what Claritin D used to do for me in New York. It was just a little pill I would put on my tongue and it easily dissolved because I have a problem swallowing pills. But that one, I didn't have to worry about that. It just dissolved on my tongue. Now I haven't, since my vegan journey, it's also been a health journey for myself. I don't really do pharmaceutical drugs, including over the counters. And so I tend to like to go to herbs, go to nutrition, to, to do something that could do least harm to my body, right? And so since NIH is telling me all these things about tree pollen, I just did some Googling online, looked at NIH. They're talking about all these trees that kick up the tree pollen allergies, which I have. It's like, there's no way I can escape this. But they're saying antihistamines is the cure basically, or what's gonna help me relieve the pain. So I know that neem is an anti antihistamine. And so I went to a herbal shop and was able to get neem powdered, which I've never had neem powdered before, which, you know, I think it oxidizes a lot faster, but my, my goal and plan was basically to have neem as much as possible to, to help me feel better. Now summer is coming in, or we're basically in summer at this point, and so it's less and less of an issue. So I haven't really had needed to use it, but you know, just to kind of work through like some of the strategies that I do uh, to help myself with some of these things. Another thing on top of that is also making sure to have immune boosting snacks, right? So even though I got an herb to help with the, to help, you know, keep the allergy symptoms as low as possible, I also made sure to have citrus. So I was, you know, getting my juices, my cold pressed juices from the juice bars. I was getting smoothies you know, with citrus to kind of beef up on the citrus and also snacking on nuts. All of these things are, you know, antioxidant rich foods. So this is where the kind of the diet plays into everything. It's like it's a whole holistic lifestyle. You, you have the herbs, you have the foods, you know, and it works together. Now traveling often leads to dehydration, which can negatively in, uh, impact your health and well-being. So you wanna make sure you choose antioxidant-rich foods with high water content. This is where this raw vegan lifestyle comes into play, that high raw. So making sure like if you love, love watermelon, maybe you have that for breakfast. If you love cucumbers, incorporate that for lunch and a salad. Um, having some herbal infused water, just drinking lots of water while you're traveling. I actually brought my glass reusable um, water bottle uh, by accident because I was thinking about so many different things I was as I was packing for this trip and that water bottle is a really great coach it has like you know the time of day with some motivational stuff on there encouraging you to drink water you know um, but it's glass covered in silicone so it's quite heavy to maneuver all over with and I have to buy drinking water in plastic anyway to transfer it. So, you know, one of the things that I've been thinking about is if it's even worth traveling with a glass bottle, because I'm not gonna drink tap, you know? And um, the only way to get clean filtered water while traveling is, you know, you're buying, you're buying waters in plastic, in plastic bottles. That's the way it is right now. So. If I were to plan all again, over again, and, and, and um, repack, go back in time and repack, I would not have brought my glass water bottle. Now lastly, with long travel hours and limited access to nutritious foods, you know, this can weaken the immune system and make us more susceptible to illness, right? So, we really wanna stay focused on incorporating those antioxidant-rich foods that support the immune function, such as garlic, mushrooms, green leafy vegetables, and luckily, the places that I've been eating out at had all of these. 
And so I've been consuming a lot of these, especially mushrooms. Poland loves mushrooms. And that's typically not something I make at home. So I feel like my gut has really been getting the benefit of this, this other nutrient source with a variety of nutrients that I may not regularly get at home, which I appreciate. Having a place with a kitchen, one thing I learned, it's a word I did not know, and hopefully I'm remembering it properly. I think it's called miti or mitte which just means like pre-wash. So if you go to the grocery store and you're looking for pre-washed vegetables for quick, healthy meals, right? And you have a place with a kitchen and all this to prepare your stuff, you wanna look for that. They do have pre-washed, ready-made mixed greens um, that just make everything so much simpler and easier. So I hope you all are enjoying your summer and getting the most out of your travels like I am. And hopefully you find these tips very helpful. Until next time, see you later.